Hello and welcome back to Frappe ERP Next course. In this lecture, we will discuss different events used in client side scripting. Let's start learning. Open VS Code and we can use different events in client side scripting to trigger different functions and methods. We have already discussed one event in previous video and which is refresh event. This event will trigger the method and functions when we refresh the page or reload the page. Let's see refresh event first. I am uncommenting this lines and inside that event I am printing a message hello decoded from refresh event. So this event will trigger this message when we refresh or reload the page. Let me save this and open web application. Now we are in client side scripting document reload the page let's add a client set scripting document here we can see the message hello decoded from refresh event if you refresh it again we can see the message again our next event is onload event and the onload event will trigger the method and function when we load the page let's see onload event I'm commenting a refresh event and save this. Here I am printing the message hello decode from onload event. Go to client side scripting list view, reload the page, add a client side scripting document. Here we can see hello decode from onload event. And if I add something here, then save this now the page is refreshed and we can't see the message hello decoded from onload event because the onload event will trigger only when we load the page if you refresh this page we can see the message again next event is validate event and this event is used for validating the form and it will trigger when we save the document let's comment onload event and save this go to doc type list view then reload the page add a new document let's add a name then save the document and here we can see an error message hello decoded from validate event and this event is triggered before saving the document so if you close this you can see the status is not saved let's comment this validate event and next event is before save this will trigger before saving the document and here also i am throwing an error and the error won't allow to save the document go to client side scripting then reload the page then add a client side scripting i'm adding a name and let's save here we can see the error message hello decoded from before save event here also we can't save the document and the status is still not saved let's comment before save event next event is after save event and this will trigger after saving document into database let's see how it is working Reload the page. Add a client side scripting. Let's add name here and save the document. Here we can see hello decoded from after save event. And the status of this document is in draft. So this document is saved in database and after saving this document, the event is triggered. Let's comment this and 
Another important event triggering method is field based event triggering. Field based events are triggered when we change values in fields. Let's see how it is working. I am uncommenting these lines and here I am triggering a message when we change the status of enable field. We have already created an enable field in document and this method is triggered when we change the status of that field. Let's save this and open web application. Let's open client side scripting list then reload the page. Add a new client side scripting. This is our enable field. Let's check this box. And here we can see the message hello decoder from enable field name event. If I uncheck this, this will also trigger that message. So this is how we can trigger method or functions based on field changes. I am adding one more field based event triggering and here I am triggering the message print function when I change the age value field. Let's save this and go to client side scripting, reload the page. Add a new document, then you click on enable. We can see hello decoder from enable event. And, and if I enter some values in age field, then it also trigger one message hello decoder from age field name event. So this is an important event triggering mechanism and we will use this in many occasions. Let's comment this field based event triggering methods. We can trigger a method or function when we add a child table row. Let's see how we can use this. Here we have a family members child table and when we open that child table we can see the message hello decoder from family member child table rendering event. Let's save this and go to client side scripting list reload the page. This is our family members child table. I am adding a new row then let's open this row. Here we can see hello decoder from family members child table run dead event. So let's close this and I am opening one more time. Here also we can see the same message. Let's comment this event. Our next event is before submit event and this event trigger before submitting that form. Our client side scripting doc type is a submittable type doc type. Let's uncomment this and I am adding a frappe throw here. Save this and go to client side scripting. Reload the page. Add a client side scripting. I'm adding a name here. Then let's save this. Now we can submit this form. Let's click on submit. It will ask a confirmation message. Then press Y. And here we can see our error message hello decoder from before submit event. So this error will trigger before submitting this form and the status of this form is still in draft. Let's comment this and next event is on submit event and this will trigger after submitting that form. Let's save it and go to client side scripting, reload the page.
add a client side scripting then add a name here save this then click on submit let's confirm it and now we successfully submitted our form and here we can see hello decoder from on submit message the status is also changed to submitted we can cancel this form using cancel button and we can also trigger events in cancellation let's see the cancellation events let's comment this then first one is before cancel event and this will throw an error before cancelling this form let's save this and go to client side scripting reload the page let's open the submitted document let's cancel using this button it will ask a confirmation message let's click on yes here we can see the error throw message hello decoder from before cancel event and the form is not cancelled yet let's comment this and and comment this after cancel event and this will trigger after cancelling that form go to client side scripting reload the page let's open the submitted document then click on cancel click on s to confirm and now we successfully cancelled our document and here we can see hello decoder from after cancel event and also we can see the status is cancelled these are the important events used in client side scripting let's wind up this lecture and see you in the next lecture bye